In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find a range of values in a larger range within an Excel sheet. Now, I have made these values both letters and numbers, so the B3, E2, and D4 are, are text values, and um, the number 2 is obviously numerical. Now, I've done both of these so that I can show you that it doesn't matter what you're looking for. They could be names, they could be numbers, that, but you have a larger list. Now, normally this list would be um, hundreds of lines long. It, would be, it could be possibly all the sheet. And now you have a group of numbers that you would like to find within this larger range. And so I'm going to press the Find button here. And basically what it's gone through, it has uh, gone through and put the background color of all of my values from this list of values to find, and it has highlighted them in the other list. Now, I have a clear, clear button, which is just um, removing the background color of here. Now, if we wanted to change this to, let's say, uh, let's say we're going to put this to F1, and let's go um, let's go H uh, H4 let's say so it doesn't matter when you where you change them you one more time get to uh, get to press this and you will find all of these buttons in here all of these values within your larger list okay so let me show you what I did the code the code is code is pretty simple um, basically, with the clear button, the clear button is just, um, it's just I recorded this macro, and basically what it did, I did is I selected all of the cells that were in my range, and I went to, uh, to my fill color, and I set them to, to no fill, and then I recorded that, and I put it, assigned it to my clear button. But now let's go look at the find which is my little bit of code that I've written for, for finding these values. So I have um, called my, my, my macro range in a range, and R being row, C being, long, being column, and those as long, as long. C range is what I'm looking for, and the cell is the cell within the C range, so it's going by each of them. Last row is uh, the last row of the sheet, so we go as long as there is in the sheet. So set C range to B2 to G2. So uh, that is where the values that we're looking for. So you could have as many values in this list. You could change this to um, B2 to, let's say, S2 if you're looking for a lot, lot larger number. And this, it will go through each of these to find them. Now, what it does is it's saying sheet one cells RC, so I've declared the R as uh, row three in column two. And now what it's doing is it's going from the R, R equals three to last row, so it's going to find where the last row and keep going while it's doing that. Now for each of the cell in the C range, what it's doing is it's going through each of the cells on the sheet and saying if these uh, if this active cell equals one of the cells value in the range, the active cell interior color index equals four, which is the green. And then we're doing end if, and then we're doing next cell. So that works really well, and it, it goes through each of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to F8 through my code so you can see it go. So So now it's going from each cell and it's going through and seeing if it's in the, it's checking to see if they're in the, the top range there. It's going cell by cell and it's searching for each, each of the list in the, uh, so there, there it's found one, there it's found two. So basically, you can see it's going cell by cell and checking for each of the values within your range. So that is how you find a range within the range. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.